I have no idea if you can even see me, but we'll see. Um, it's been a while. Hi there. Honestly, I don't think I've recorded something probably since Christmas. Probably since Christmas, honestly. So it's been a while. Hi there. You might be wondering, where am I? This is the new place. We moved. We no longer live in New York. It was getting a bit too expensive. Uh, Chris and I are both in school, so had to follow his educational path out here, which I'm okay with, because if you guys remember about four years ago, we used to live here in San Diego. So we are back and Chris is going to school here. I'm still going to school online. I know I kind of announced that if you're on my Instagram, but yeah, I'm in grad school. I am getting my master's degree in anthropology and applied archeology. span And honestly, best decision ever. I know Chris is really enjoying his classes as much as he can. And I am loving being in grad school right now. Honestly, it's kind of why I'm looking musty dusty right now because I have not stopped. This summer has been non-stop. We started the summer with a disastrous move. Not gonna go into that, unfortunately, for you guys. I know the tea is piping hot, but can't do it. So we started the summer with disastrous move. I ended up leaving the country for a month for a project for school. Came back, have a bunch of projects I was planning on working on when I got back. So those are all happening now. And I'm also working on the project that has to do with me being out of the country for as long as I was. So that's kind of the fast rundown, but I do have to say, I was sitting here working on some of my projects and I'm just, I miss this. I miss vlogging. I miss having my online community. And even if nobody watches these, I might as well do them. I want to make them. It's a fun creative outlet. So whatever, let's do this. I'm going to make my videos. So right now, what am I doing? Well, one, I'm walking on the walking pad. I have joined the legions of walking pad <laughs> enthusiasts. It's just a great way with my ADHD to focus on my work. So got the standing desk and walking pad set up and I've been working on some projects for school. The other thing I've been working on, which I'm super excited to share with you guys, very soon I'm gonna have a blog coming up with images and stories about my time abroad. I know, there's like a million one travel influencers. It's not about that. This project is part of what I'm working on for the opportunity I was given to be on a Fulbright Hayes project. For anyone not familiar with what a Fulbright Hayes is, it's a scholarship that allows scholars, um, undergrad through graduate school, travel internationally. Um, this particular Fulbright Hayes uh, was for educators people interested in working in education. For myself, I'm getting my degree in anthropology and applied archaeology and I would, I would love to go get my doctorate. It's been something I've wanted ever since I was a kid. So it's something I would really love to do and I would love to work within a university sphere, which is something that you do have to learn different educational skills for. Um, I applied, I put that in there, I somehow got in. It was one of the best opportunities I've ever had one of the best experiences I've ever had. And I am really excited to share some of these videos with you guys. I will be uploading videos about my time and my team's time in South Korea, because that's where we got to go. South Korea, so cool. So I just wanna make sure I'm out here sharing that with you guys because so has been happening. It's not like I just disappeared. But right now I'm actually working on the roundup for that project, a couple of projects I signed on through Connections at School, and obviously I have some school stuff I have to do even though it's summertime, because the life of a grad student is never over. Um, also on top of all that, like I said, we moved. So we're still unpacking. A um, little bit of tea I can share with the move was a lot of our stuff was destroyed. So we've been slowly replacing stuff with thrifted items. Facebook Marketplace, so good so good. Love Facebook Marketplace. So it's been busy and I don't know if I'm biting off more than I can chew 
by starting this vlog. It might end up being the most boring thing the world has ever seen. Maybe this will encourage me to get out of the house and do more than just walk on my walking pad for hours and hours a day doing homework. Granted, granted, I kind of need to do that. But I would love the opportunity to do more because when we lived here last time, we were really busy just trying to survive. And this time, I really want to experience my life here in San Diego County. It's something that I've always wanted. This was my dream place to live. So might as well live that dream, right? So yeah, that's what's been going on. And we'll see. We'll see what happens here. I have some DIYs, some decorating stuff. Uh, I'll show you guys the apartment if you really want to see it. But uh, it's a little bit messy. I don't think anyone wants to see that. Scratch that. I don't know if I'll show that to you. It's pretty bad. Everything's either in boxes or is like sitting near the place where it's going to go when we get furniture. So I don't know. But I'll keep you guys posted. Miss Kira is here sitting looking out the window watching people go by. So apologies if you hear her oofing. That's one of her favorite things to do, especially now that she realized that the standing desk is tall enough for her to still see out the window. But yeah, so between the school stuff and the moving stuff, it's been pretty busy. And yeah, like I said, maybe I'm crazy starting this up again, but who knows? This is probably just me. Me and the five people who ever watch my videos, which is okay. In the end, nothing matters. But I don't know. I really haven't had the opportunity to sit down and think about doing this again since I turned 30, since we planned this move. So maybe now that we've kind of found the place that we're gonna be for a bit, um, maybe this will become a thing. I don't know. I'll keep you guys posted and I'm gonna jump into a project right now. So I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, it's been over a week since I've vlogged last, and yes, I am in bed. You can see my mess back there. Uh, I got COVID. Yeah, I got COVID. It, we have no clue where it came from. We have no clue how I got it because I've been at home. You can tell my voice probably sounds so weird. I keep losing it and I keep wheezing, so I'm probably gonna have to take this in multiple beds. I like, I look like the Reaper has come for me. It's yeah but yeah i've been home this whole time um prepping for school we're doing summer projects wrapping up projects from my trip abroad 
and it's like I was home for weeks so obviously didn't get overseas we don't know if maybe Chris brought it home with him I don't know but anyways I yeah I've been sick for over a week now I have ventured outside for the first time today because I'm negative uh no fever for four days now I only had a fever for like three days thank goodness um but yeah I've been sick so yeah <laughs> Hopefully I'm fully better before that starts, but I really wanted to start vlogging again as like a journal, as like a digital journal for myself and like, yeah, like I, I don't vlog when I'm sick. So, yeah. So um, a lot happened during that week too. So um, we, when we moved to this apartment, cause obviously like we moved uh, right before I went to, um, overseas for a month. Um, our apartment they did not replace the carpets before we got here and whoever lived here last had cats we know they had cats because you could smell it and i'm horribly allergic to cats and so is chris so we both were like constantly miserable because a mixture of mold because the carpets were wet and moldy and smelled like cat pee it was horrible it took almost three months to get them replaced that's a whole thing um, but they decided that the week that I was sick, and granted, they did not know I was sick. They were just trying to help us out and like get everything fixed to where it was supposed to be. But the week that I was sick was the week that they scheduled us for a carpet replacement and we couldn't delay it. So, uh, one day we had to be completely out of the house for almost a full day. They had to seal the floors with an epoxy and we couldn't be in the house for like eight hours. So that sucked i was sick sitting in a dog park with a mask on <laughs> with a low-grade fever at that point trying to stay away from everybody so that way i don't infect the entire world not touching anything wearing a mask it was awful so that happened and then the next day the carpet people came in and they were late but also on top of it, it's like they replaced the carpet in both of our bedrooms and our closets which means we had to move completely out of our bedrooms of like, like I say our bedrooms because Chris has one bedroom as like his office space slash it's a guest bedroom. Um, so it has like all the school stuff, his work stuff, his clothes, stuff like that, because like we finally have space for us to both have like our own areas. And then like our bedroom, obviously, which is both of our stuff, all my clothes, Kira's stuff, all of that. So like we had two entire rooms that we had to completely move out of and put everything in the living room. So the living room wasn't livable. And the dining area, which is part of the living area, not work, like livable, can't use it. Couldn't use my office space because it was full of everything. So it's like basically the front half of the house. Couldn't use it. I had one chair <laughs> that wasn't full of stuff. So when the carpet people came, this one chair is like right next to the front door. And I'm like, I'm so sorry. Like, I'm just gonna be sitting here. Please ignore me. They felt so bad because I was in there with a mask on trying to chase lizards out our front door because they need the front door open. And poor Kira is locked in the bathroom because I didn't want to keep her on the leash the whole time because she got super stressed. It was a whole thing, but <coughs> there is, there's that cough. It's still not gone. I talk too long. I start coughing. But yeah, so that's finally done. But because I've been sick, and that was so much while I was sick, it's taken a lot longer to slowly start bringing stuff back into the bedrooms. Um, and I got to get stuff done before school starts. I don't know how it's going to happen because I had to be very gentle with myself. I keep reminding myself that it's not the end of the world. So yeah, that's what's been going on. That's why I haven't vlogged at all. Um, but the nice thing is now that like I kind of have an idea of what's coming up in the next few weeks, we can start making the final preparations for moving in. So like we have some furniture, we still need, we need some bookcases, um, you know, uh, we need some shelves, some storage stuff, we need some bookshelves, and we need a rug for the living room. I would like at least one, maybe two more lamps for the living room because it's so dark out there because we only have windows on the north side of the building. And then um, we need to do our backyard since we actually have a yard space and Kira loves it so much and I do too, honestly, because the one great thing about San Diego is the weather. 
so we want to get our yard done as soon as possible but now that like things are kind of not settling per se but like are going in a set direction I have a better idea of when we can finish everything and I know a lot of you guys like to watch these profession videos um I don't mind showing you the best because that's real life and I know I'm not the only one um yeah so that's been what's been going on uh but yeah um I will update a little bit later I just want to hop on here because I actually felt well enough to record for a minute or two <coughs> but as you can tell I'm just coughing so we're gonna go ahead and stop this for now, uh, but I'll see you guys again in a little bit.